good evening in today's session let's look at the concept of demographic dividends what exactly is this hope you know these words and these are the words that are being very frequently used by none other than the prime minister of india let's try to understand what exactly is this when i say demographic dividend you take any country's population say for example india or any country so you have the total population of that country and out of this total population if the working population is more then definitely that will lead to the growth of the economy because so these are the people who are in the working population they have the capacity to produce they have the capacity to work more for the development of the nation and they will take part in the growth of the economy and that particular population is called demographic dividend very 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 important one so this is uh, really very important but the point is that what constitutes the demographic dividend meaning what is the age group that will become the part of demographic dividend if the demographic dividend is more the potential of the nation is more if it is less then the potential is also less have a look at this one very important one look at this what is the age group of higher proportion of a working population required for a demographic dividend so you need to have a particular age range kindly remember that is 15 to 64 this is the working population if the number of people is more here then we can say that is more demographic dividend and the nation has the potential to grow very 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 important one so kindly remember so these are the points uh, for today and i'll see you in the next session and uh, we'll discuss more thank you so much